really cool bands in uh, Belgium. The music is immediately catchy. He likes to do some blasting. Of course, we love him. So we get in a trance. Yeah. I'm gonna ride one of the make the record together. Yeah, a very small record. <laughs> I think the cat farted, but I'm. Um, <laughs> I, he's an apple special. Maybe that's the last video that we have of Jackie. No. Last question. Oh, no. A universe. <laughs> uh, well, first of all, I was like, we, we, we chose this, this name uh, in our, our mail account or on Facebook because uh, we didn't want to be one of those Heisa band, Heisa music, Heisa, you know, you know all the bands have this generic uh, thing behind their name. And, and don't, don't say Heisa in a <laughs> German <laughs> accent. But, uh, it's Heisa, forget yes, it. <laughs> that's she lives in Germany for half a year and you start pronouncing her band name in German. It's because Hannah always says it like that. Without an audience, you are nothing. So it's also true. Whoever visits our social media or mails us, of course we love you because mm -hmm. yeah, we're open for you. And, and, and if you contact us, it means that you like something we do. So vice versa. Oh, that's a good one. Um, we played the show in a place in Holland. Um, in the, like a restaurant slash cafe mm -hmm. and when we got there the place was full of tables so there wasn't any place to play so and we came there and it's and we were like is this the right place do we are we supposed to play here and the owner was like yeah yeah, yeah. um at uh, in an hour i put all the tables away and then you can play there so we were like okay and then we were like maybe two hours and the tables were still there and it was like uh when are the tables going away? Yeah, in a minute, the people are still eating, but in a minute, okay. And then he finally took all the tables away, yeah. but then there was no PA system, so no uh, system to sing through. There were no, uh, and he was like, oh yeah, but I have it in my attic. Uh, just wait, I'll, I'll go get it. And then he, he got it from his attic, but he didn't know how to uh, put the cables in and stuff. So we had to do that ourselves. And it was like getting time and all and the was, people uh, were play, like, hey, <laughs> yeah, and there were people there to see us, and they were like, "When are you guys playing?" And then, like, yeah, we still have to uh, set up the PA system. And um, so around I don't know eleven or something, we started playing, and it was one of our most wildest and best shows we ever did, just because of that stress. Yeah, and then, because we were annoyed. Like, oh, yeah, and then it was this yeah. like aggressive feeling. And, yeah, yeah, and then we didn't care anymore, and then we just went wild and it was really because the audience was there was no stage so we were all on the same level and the audience was all around us and we just jumped in the crowd and that was really uh, was one of the best gigs mm -hmm. it was in Maastricht the free Sunday <laughs> yeah Experience is still like the heavy yeah, live thing. Yeah. 
but we were really uh, surprised by the acoustic uh, stuff because at first uh, it was kind of also a contest and they asked us to do an acoustic set and we were like oh man how are we going to play acoustic it's gonna be horrible and then we, we we went there and we did it and a lot of people liked it and we like yeah, yeah, also, yeah it's so. also very rare and just like okay how to do how do we do this uh, let's try this and yeah, yeah, that was it. definitely also a challenge uh, for a yeah. live show because we've never done it before and then we have to play these songs that we always play like with full intensity and then suddenly we're on an acoustic guitar, but it was a lot of fun to do. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we prepared, yeah. 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 But we didn't have a lot of time to prepare. No. No. So it was still the last day when we had to do it. We were uh, yes. it was <laughs> at the... Uh, was at the sea, the Belgian sea, the coast, the Belgian coast, and uh, they rented a little uh, little apartment mm -hmm. uh, there, and we took all the uh, all the instruments in the apartment, and we, we yeah, still we had like still a couple of hours, and we were like, okay, come on, how are we going to do this? But it all came came together in the end. It was pretty good. Yeah. 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 I'm not. A uh, big fan of that, but he likes to do some blast beats every once in a while. <laughs> no, but I think, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not in the song. Yeah, yeah, but yeah we, we only have that one song, like we have a version of our own song that we, we kind of covered the punk version, yeah. and that's the most that we will venture into that side, I guess. Mm -hmm. But it's also, we don't take that super seriously, we just do it for fun, but we like to be a bit more, I don't know. Uh, yeah, surprising. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Um, no, no particular <clears throat> reason. We didn't have a lady. Hopefully, this is enough. <laughs> <laughs> this is okay. Maybe one of us can dress like a lady. <laughs> Both looking at each other. Yeah, because he doesn't have a beard. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. And I like to dress up like a lady. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would be cool to have some female vocals sometimes, but we like being three of us, so we're not going to expand into more members, and it just happens to be that nobody is a female, <laughs> so, and that's the only reason. I can't imagine that. That would be weird, yeah. Mm. But suddenly you have a third opinion, and you're like, Four <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And wants, also, but wants, yeah. also the way we stand on stage when we perform is like Jonathan in, uh, in the middle, me facing Kuhn and Kuhn is over here. It's like a perfect triangle. And then when you have a fourth person, it's going to be weird. Where, where do we put the fourth yeah, person? Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I would like to be like the singer with the microphone. Just and that's all just I have. So you know, like like the tool singer, just like only have a microphone. But then someone else should play bass guitar. We are getting older, men like me especially. <laughs> and uh, yeah. then uh, the older you get, with me at least, maybe you do. The older you get, the less happy music you listen, and the more like start to mellow out uh, yeah i think it's true yeah because he listened to like murder dolls and whatever <laughs> when, when i was younger yeah 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 i listened to a lot of stuff he listened to a lot of punk music yeah i used to but yeah well yeah i make it true i used to listen to other stuff. yeah some stuff yeah and now it's more like, oh, Bon Iver or The National or yeah. something. And who, who, which uh, album of Slipknot? The first one. The first the, one yeah, that's the best yes. one. Yeah, that's true. Slipknot, Slipknot. Uh, when I was 18 or something, I used to lis uh, listen to Limp Bizkit all the time. And then I heard the singer of Limp Bizkit talk about Tool. Mm. That I really liked Tool. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna check out too. And I bought Love the Halos, the the the, sec um, the third album. Mm -hmm. 
and I didn't get it at first. I was like, this isn't catchy. This, this yeah. is not staying. This is not in, staying in my head. But I, I put it on more and more, and all of a sudden, it started to all make sense. And uh, that's what I learned about music. That if the music is immediately catchy, <coughs> you get tired of it more quickly. But when you like music like Tool, I can still listen to. I, I still listen to it to this day because it's uh, <coughs> an acquired taste more. So uh, yeah, just listen to it a, a couple of more times. Uh, yeah. it, will, uh, it will all make sense. I'm a, I'm more of a audio visual kind of person, like movies and music. I can keep my attention to, but. Um, you know, staring in books. I also was never good at school, so I, I can't I can't stare on a book. It's impossible. My mind goes other places. So. <clears throat> I like reading. I do it. I, I should do it more. In particular, I'm reading a, a book about the American indie underground scene in the eighties. Like uh, stories of, or the stories about uh, bands like Black Flag or the Minutemen. Yeah, I, I I also really don't read enough. Like uh, I like to read, but uh, I don't know. I, I just don't make time for it. Like when I was younger, I liked uh, authors like Hermann Hesse. Hmm. Uh, he's also a German author. He he's like like this uh, magical uh, realism or something. Like realism, but but like with a hint of. Of something surreal that's like a metaphor for something. Do you know any modern Russian musicians? God damn it. No. Oh no. Yeah. That too is not really modern. Is it? it was like 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah. Remember that too? That's like the only Russian. Uh, is there more, more Russian bands? Um, I there... guess Russian circles is not a Russian band. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a couple of good Belgian bands. Well, <laughs> to start with, <laughs> uh, Brains is our the, the band's favorite band. That's it. It's uh, you you write it B R N S. So it's brains without the vowels. And Modern Suyu is also one. Yeah, Modern Suyu was great. But they, they stopped uh, at the end of last year. Mm -hmm. okay, but so yeah, they, they still have stuff online. And yeah. I can definitely check that out. Uh, so Get Canon. Is... Yeah, they have, a, they have a new album, but I'm not, I'm not expecting a lot of the new album. You hear the new song. Yeah. But I was like, huh. Check out the first. Two records. Yeah, first yeah, two records. Uh, the second a record by Captain Korsakov is a very good record. Mm -hmm. By Korsakov, it's Russian. Yeah. Yeah, but the, who is here? Uh, Captain <laughs> Korsakov. Yeah, I don't know. It's just uh, the name of the band. Yeah, I don't know why. I also don't know why. But uh, they, really? they sound really like a modern version of uh, Nirvana. It's really yeah. Uh, they sound really Nirvana like, but when. If, if Kurt Cobain would start a band in the year 2000, it would sound like that. So it sounds less 90s and more noisy, but it's still very Nirvana-like. Mm -hmm. Can we guess which it is? Yes, you can guess. Um, is, it, is, it, is it an older band or do they come from like the 70s, 80s or are they more like... Uh, I think this starts... Like, it's I'm going to guess it's Aura. Yeah, they are. They are also. Uh, we I, forgot I, about them. Yeah, yeah I like them mostly for live. Actually, like I don't. I never put them on uh, at home, but uh, live, I really like to go see them because they're so they're so great live. Yeah. They're really good. Also, it's like the it's like hypnotic because it's so slow and so heavy, and you get into it. And you get into like this hypnotic flow the whole time. Yeah, I really like him as well. We forgot about them. Yeah, yeah. We forgot uh, about a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Really cool bands in uh, Belgium. <laughs> What's next? Where Where is Heisa moving? Yeah. What? 
Een tweede keer gezien. Ja, hij is als moving to opnieuw. Oh, hey, sir. Oh, yeah. Jesus. But I'm just, I'm just pronouncing it English. No. Hi, hi, sir. It's not English. How, how is an Englishman going to uh, yeah, well, pronounce it? Yeah, it's fault. Hi, sir. No. Really? Doesn't matter. I think it's going to be the same. Ah, Jesus. Um, yeah, but to come back to the question. You're supposed to way. pronounce it in a more Icelandic way. Like, yeah, um, that's true. where Sigurós and, and Björk is from, they would say, Hey, sir. No? Whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're making the new record now. So, uh, exactly in a year you can kind of expect uh, the new record. We're writing it now, we're recording it in October, and then it should be finished by March somewhere. So that's, uh, that's the plan. Also, uh, we got a manager since uh, since, last week since last week yeah. and uh, a booker is someone that books all the shows for us a new uh, record label yeah yeah, yeah. so we started from being like an amateur band to being a band that has a manager so yeah yeah that's exciting so that's that's going to happen this year it's yeah. going to